and you are knowing what you are wanting that's good we don't believe you but it's good <laughs> we believe you but sometimes what you want and what you believe are not in the same place and then your desire doesn't feel so good does it so that really is the point of everything that we have to say to you it's all about you figuring out some way to believe your own desire and for most humans the reason you don't is because some of what you desire has not yet come into what you call manifestation or materialization or actualization you can't yet see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it so it feels absent to you it's not there you're looking for it but you don't yet see it and as you look for it and don't yet see it you practice the idea of it not being there yet and so without meaning to by noticing what is in terms of manifestation you practice the absence of the things that you want well you live in a universe that is vibration most don't know it because you translate vibration so well you don't even know you're doing it so you are observing through your physical senses and coming to conclusions about what is so without meaning to you hold active in your vibration what is which means what is is hard pressed to change so you get what you think about so if you're thinking about the absence of something you want you keep getting the absence of something that you want so you have to find some way of distracting yourself from the absence of it some use imagination talking more about what you're desiring and less about what is if we can convince you about this vibrational reality that you've already created where all of your desires are already all framed up vibrationally if we can get you to begin trying to sniff out that vibrational reality instead of focusing so much upon the see it hear it smell it taste it touch it already materialized reality then things will speed up for you but even more than you getting from where you are to where you want to be more quickly it's that you will feel better along the way and that really is the whole point you did not come here to accomplish destinations you came here to discover destinations goals dreams things that you want because it's so joyful the movement toward them we're wanting to help you carve out a quicker more joyful path to the achievement of the things that you want so these things are necessary it's important that you accept that you are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe and it also is very helpful if you understand that you are an extension of source energy that there is a non-physical part of you who exists and is offering a vibration that is available to you at all times you don't hear it because you're on a different frequency sometimes sometimes you do hear it when you're tuned in tapped in turned on the better you feel the more in alignment you are and the more you are hearing it but we know since you are physical and you live in this physical world that the physical world matters to you it matters a lot and it should because you came specifically intending to be a creator out here on this leading edge this leading edge where thoughts do turn to things where manifestations do occur where you have the full-blown visceral experience of your creation and so as we are moving forward here today I want to show you how you can lighten up how you can be easier how you can tune into the frequency of who you are I want to help you to discover in very real terms so that you can apply it whenever you want to which from our point of view if we were standing in your physical shoes would be all of the time so that you can tune to the frequency of that broader knowing when you 
are standing in your now offering your attention to whatever it is you're offering your attention to you have much more creative control than you know but you are using a different criteria than is really helpful to you if your first order of business would be to tune to your broader perspective everything about your world would be better and feel better and mature in ways that you want more effectively and more efficiently so we want to help you to understand how it is that the vibration that is really what we are all about turns into the tangible which you call your real world how do these thoughts turn to things how does the vibration become the manifestation it comes through your interpretation it comes through your realization but most humans aren't really all that willing to realize until there is a manifestation that you can observe and that's what slows everything way way down well, if this time space reality has helped you to identify a desire as you're sifting and sorting this time space reality has the wherewithal for you to realize it in its fullest so here's how it works you may not like this but here's how it works source knows everything about you everything that you want and is rooting for you to get it and is offering a vibrational signal a very vivid very clear very high frequency very non-resistant vibrational signal when you're in the vicinity of it you are able to translate that signal into meaningful things Esther is receiving that signal now and is translating it into this physical word equivalent for you so you have the ability to do that too most of you don't know that you do but you do so here's this signal and when you tune to it Esther tuned to it through meditation through quieting her mind through stopping thought as she stopped thought the vibration that is natural to her began to become dominant and so over a period of time her vibration raised to reach the frequency of the vibration that is us which makes our communication in an environment like this seem now it's not always seamless for Esther she can be in a bad mood and not hear us too but she does know when she's in a bad mood that she's not hearing us and she does know that her first order of business is to do whatever it takes even if it's to take a nap to stop the conversation about whatever it is that's holding her in that resistant place where she cannot hear us so here's this vibration always being offered to you the question is are you in the receptive mode that is a key phrase here are you in the receptive mode are you able to translate that vibration into something that's meaningful so the first thing that you will translate it into if you are in the receptive mode is an idea will occur to you you know that feeling when you say ah oh, I just got the best idea that's what that is you were in the receptive mode didn't stay there very long most of you but you were for a moment in the receptive mode and the idea came before you shot the idea in the foot by the reality that is surrounding you you know what we're talking about don't you so that idea comes and with that idea with that let's say it like it is with that you translating because you're in the receptive mode the vibration into a thought you realized it it was always being revealed to you in other words it's not you waiting around for the revelation the revelation is there all of your waking moments the revelation is there the question is are you in the receptive mode and the answer is sometimes you are and sometimes you're not and the better you feel the more you are and the worse you feel the more you're not it really is that simple so here comes this thought this idea and right along with it so close with it that you think that it happens simultaneously you feel the emotion of it because the emotion of it is the indicator of the gap between the vibration of your thought and the vibration of the thought of the source within you so when you feel elation you're right there there's no gap you're right there and that's why you received that thought that's why that idea was so strong and unless you do something to add resistance to the idea you could stay on the wavelength of that idea and you could carry it out to its full fruition and you know that because you've done that on some occasions so the thoughts are turning to things the vibration is turning to thought now it's a thought the question is how long will that thought sustain how long will you hold the frequency of this great idea well the answer to that usually lies in how long will it take you to tell somebody else about it who doubts it because 
most of you, start talking about your ideas before there is enough momentum in them. So there's no evidence of them. You know those people that you call dreamers, those people that have their head in the clouds, those people who never come to any fruition, but they've always got another great idea. You know why it doesn't come to fruition? You talk them out of it or others like you because you're gauging what their current success is going to be based upon what their past success has been. And since you have been seeing that much success in them or in yourself, then this new idea usually gets squashed. Jerry wrote a paper many years ago. He taught it to people in financial business that he was mentoring to try to help them to begin to believe more in their prosperity. And his paper was entitled, Keep Your Ideas to Yourself Until They Are Fully Developed. Because he knew people were getting ideas and then they'd talk to other people about them before they had vibrational momentum. And it's so easy to talk yourself out of a really good idea before it has any vibrational momentum. And you know why it doesn't have any vibrational momentum? Because you think about it, but then you think about the absence of it. You kill the momentum with the contradictory thought. Well, cut that out. If you would not do that, if you could find some way to believe in your desires, to believe in your ideas longer, to hold the doubt at bay, to replace the doubt with belief. So what does that require? That requires, first of all, knowing what we just told you, knowing that it is a vibrational reality that will come to fruition, but you've got to coax it along. No. It isn't that you've got to coax it along. You're not the energy that makes it happen. The energy that creates worlds is the energy that makes it happen. You don't have to coax it along. You just have to stop killing it. You just have to be more optimistic, which means in those early stages, usually you want to be more general about it. The more general you are, the less likely you are to introduce resistance to the idea. So here's this vibration that you are now translating into an idea. So. You want to do everything you can to keep that idea alive. And if it begins to wane, if it begins to peter out, if it begins to lose its momentum, if you begin to doubt it, it's time for you in that moment to stop talking about it, stop thinking about it. Because at that point, the more you talk about it, the more you introduce more of the contradictory energy to it. Do you know you could give birth to an idea, never think about it again, and it would come to full fruition. It's just not logical that you won't think about it again. And the things you care about most are the things that you think about most. And the things that you think about most are usually the things that you introduce the most resistance to because you are worry wart. So the creative process is three steps. The first step is ask and life causes you to do that. The contrast causes you to know what you want and you are vibrationally sending the request or the asking. Step two is source becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you've asked for lines up with it so powerfully and begins emitting a signal, which law of attraction is responding to. And because law of attraction is responding to that signal, oh, you're going to love this. We've never said this to you before because law of attraction is responding to that signal. That's causing a momentum. A path has opened up. So now how does the resistance get on that path? because you're emitting a signal too. You're standing here in the reality that you call life, having your opinions about it, about the same subject that source has an opinion about a clear, sure opinion calling you toward it. But you've got an opinion that might not be going with the flow of it. And that's what causes resistance to be upon the path because you get to think about things too. You get to think about them. You should think about them. That's how you carved out the desire to begin with. But the moment that you launched the rocket source became so on board with that rocket and is calling all cooperative components toward the fulfillment, the culmination, the full manifestation of what you have carved out. The question is, are you a cooperative component? Or are you still doubting? Are you still basing this upon things that you've lived before? So there's that gap, that vibrational variance between who you really are and who you're allowing yourself to be and understanding that gap, which is evidenced to you by emotion is the only thing that you ever need to know about the creating of anything, because it is our promise to you. 
when you launched the rocket it became a vibrational reality and now you have every means available to you for you to become in the receptive mode so that you can translate that vibrational reality into the full fledged manifested see it hear it smell it taste it touch it reality